Jesus Christ, let her speak in tongues right now, Father God. Sheba bakora shakala bosoko koshekele bekele koko rosha para bokoro shekele when you feel it, don't just speak it. Sheba bokoro shakala bosoko koko 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 fire in Jesus name. There you go. There you go. Loud. There you go. Start doing it. Shaba ba. Do it. Do it. Just do it. Just let it out. Shekala bokoro kaka. Hallelujah. She just received it already. Amen. That's okay. That's a demon that's coming out. Throw it out. Vomit it. When you want some, yeah. When, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. No, seriously. When you feel like puking, it's a demon that needs to come out. Just throw up there. Okay. I, it happened to me one time when I, when I was a sinner. When, I mean, when I started getting closer to God, one time a demon came out. Um, he just vomited. It. Like, well, Did you feel something? Um, a little bit, yeah. What'd you I yeah. You felt the power of God? Okay. I just want to, excuse me, what, what's your name? We just pray for you to be baptized in the Holy Spirit, correct? And you started speaking in tongues. Tell what you felt go through your body. It was like kind of warm, and it's like it touches your heart, and then when the tongue starts coming, it's like it's just moving up to you here. Speak in tongues a bit, you just now received it. Just do it. Amen. Amen. She just received it. What's your name? My name is Zach. Zach, when, uh, when I asked you if you had any pain on your body, what did you say? Uh, my eyes. My muscles in my eyes. See if you can hear. Maybe you got to come a little closer to hear. Yeah, right. I always have to keep my, my eyes and my muscles. Yeah, they were kind of weak, so I always have to keep them open. Okay. And then, you came, and, then and then after we prayed, what happened? They felt, they opened up, and they felt so much stronger. They feel strengthened. Yeah, no, it's just, I don't know. You, you feel them different now? Way, way different. Way you different. don't feel them weak anymore? No, I know. Okay, that's Jesus. Jesus is God. He loves people. And okay. So we're out here. What's your name? Sarah is going to accept Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior for the first time. God loves her so much. So she's going to be touched with the power of God. She's going to become a daughter of God. Okay? So I'm going to pray and then just lean in with your heart. Say it out loud. Close your eyes. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you're the Son of God. I believe you died on the cross. Forgive me of my sins. Come live inside of me. Right now, Jesus. I make you my Lord and Savior. Thank you, Father, that you love me, that I'm your daughter, and that I'm saved. Amen. Close your eyes and pray. Come, Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, we fill her right now, God, from the top of her head, Lord, to the soles of her feet. She said yes to God. She said yes to Jesus. Fire of God, fill her right now. I thank you, God, that you love her. I thank you. You died on the cross for her. She's an amazing daughter of God. Lord Jesus, you love her so much. So God, fill her even more. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. In Jesus' mighty name, more God. More God. More Lord. More Holy Spirit. I thank you. Her life just got changed. She's going to have you in her life now. She has you in her life. You're her provider. You're her protector. God, you're always with her now. No more things will go wrong. She will, she will go from victory and victory, God. 